Beep boop. Beep boop. Error. Error. I am going to cut off your face and wear it as a mask while I burn down your house and kill your whole family. In Minecraft. Lately there's been this strange creature taking over the internet called Siren Head. You guys all know about my undying love for villains and monsters. <laughs> so of course, I had to investigate. I want to learn a little bit more about who he is and create a clay cracking version of him because... Because I want to. Stop judging me! If you're new here, you should consider selling your soul to me by subscribing to my channel. Also... Don't forget to hit that bell icon and select the All option. Ringing it is not enough apparently. You have to select all or I'll be lost on the internet forever. <coughs> I post new videos. Every Friday. You have reached level 5 of 20. 20. Beware the walking amber alerts. Ha 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 ha. So from what I've seen, Siren Head just looks like a huge walking 5G tower. He likes to basically blare random stuff out of his sirens and chase after people. Kinda like Tag, except you might die. But no worries, as long as you wash your hands, you'll survive. Oh wait, no, that was the other deadly thing. You'll be fine, everything's fine, it's all under control. What you've really gotta do is, as Honeydew says, You've yeet your last haul. Because this is a yeet, or be yeetin world. And you no longer fear death. You're <laughs> So we're going to be using this air dry clay that I got on Amazon. After doing some extensive research, I decided that this would be the best clay for my clay cracking experience. He doggy. As you can see, all of this is in Japanese. There's a little bit of English there, but I'm not going to read that anyway. I'm already an expert. Let's open up one of these little guys. Ew. Oh yes, baby. I just recently started hearing a lot about Siren Head. It is a popular creepypasta character, and now they've made him into a mod in Fallout. He was created by the artist Trevor Henderson. Okay, Siren Head with his siblings, that's cute. On Twitter, Trevor called Siren Head the patron saint of going missing without a trace, of creeping dread, of bad things coming. I wanted to make my siren head as close to the real one as possible, but it's really hard working with this clay cracking stuff. This stuff is just crumbling all over the place. <laughs> Everything's just falling apart and I can't keep it together no matter how hard I try. It's difficult to work with. Basically what I'm trying to say is I hate this clay. But without this clay, it wouldn't crack. So here we are. I like cracks. Siren head is supposed to be this tall, bony skeleton creature with sirens on its head. Well, it doesn't have to have sirens. It could have a lamp head or a butt head. Apparently different people see different things. Okay, let's take a look here. Featuring siren head as a tall, thin, desiccated, and dehydrated humanoid with mummified skin and dual sirens on its head. This thing doesn't even have eyes. He should be blind, but he's not. He can see everything. Because magic, I guess. I don't know. It is actually the static form of an unfathomable, supernatural entity. Despite its lack of eyes, it can still see. But like how? How does it see? It basically tempts people by whispering sweet nothings into their ears. <laughs> I'd like to take a bite out of that Scooby snack. What song would Siren Head be able to use to lure you to your doom? Comment down below. I know it looks a bit textured and it's not as detailed as my other clay sculptures. Keep in mind it's because of the type of clay used for clay cracking. I did wet just the tip of my fingers to help smooth the clay out a bit, and it helped, but you can't use too much water because then it gets gooey. Ew. Okay, so let's start painting this thing. I tried my best on the sculpture, I'm not an expert. I am going to be using acrylic paint for this. If you guys are curious about any of the items in this video, I'm going to list them down in the description box for you. 
For his skin tone, I'm taking some metallic copper colored paint and mixing it with some white just to lighten it up a little bit. His skin is supposed to look kind of burned and mummified. I figured that this might be a kind of cool way to try and achieve that effect. Oh, there goes a finger. I really like the little flappy tongues that Siren Head has. Those must come in handy for something. Okay, I'm gonna try and just move this guy onto a fresh paper towel. Oh, there goes his leg. Houston, we have liftoff. Okay guys, now that I'm pretty satisfied with how the painting turned out, I'm gonna just take out my trusty clear nail polish that I always have lying around. I got this stuff on Amazon too. Once again, all items will be in the description box. I ended up putting about three or four coats of nail polish on this thing. You're gonna want to do one coat at a time, let it dry, and then do the next coat on top of it. Once you've covered this thing in a good three to four layers of nail polish, you're just gonna set it aside to dry completely for about 24 hours. Alright, I'll see you guys in a second. Siren Head doesn't look like much, but it is very feisty, very aggressive, and intelligent. <coughs> It can camouflage itself in trees, or even next to telephone poles. Plus, it can mimic voices to lure in prey. Over here. Huh? Over here. Holy Please come back. I guess the thing that makes it so dangerous is that it can literally mimic your friend's voice calling out for help and lure you into its trap. You're only safe if you don't have any friends. It's massive. Huge. To be honest, I feel like most people would poop their pants if they encountered Siren Head in real life. Not me, but most people. Okay, let's crack this thing now. Hmm, that was okay. That wasn't as satisfying as I wanted it to be. I'm not mad, just mildly disappointed. I had a feeling it would let me down. Honestly, I didn't expect much from it. Siren Head is just so skinny. But no worries, I made some other little balls of cuteness, so we'll try these out instead. Here goes Casper. Here goes Ding Dong Devil. And last, but certainly not least, Slurp's head. Rest in peace, little one. As you guys can see, the little chubbier balls ended up cracking a lot better than Siren Head actually did. But it was still a really fun experiment, and very, very satisfying. That's the most important thing, right? All right, it's loony time. In last week's video, I turned two squishies into the Joker and Harley Quinn. Definitely go check that one out if you haven't already. I just wanted to take a look at some of my favorite comments from that video. I love talking to you guys. You're always keeping me on my toes. There's so much I've learned from all of you. For example, apparently Peppa Pig is a villain? I always knew there was something off about her. I just knew it. I'm Peppa Pig. I also learned that some of you guys think my whiteboard is a painting. And it got me thinking, OMG, some of you guys might be too young to know what a whiteboard is. I'm not even that old, but yeah. Basically, back in my day, we had these boards that you could draw on and erase and then draw on again. You know, kind of like the iPads that you guys have now, except without all the apps and the technology. And I learned that LB's husband is bald, and she's apparently going to paint some hair on him with puffy paint. And I think that's a great idea. I'm sure he'll be thrilled. And last but not least, I learned that some of you guys have a thing. Oh yeah. For my pigtails. No shame. This is a judgment-free zone. Hey. My eyes are down here. What a fox.
Thank you so much to all of you guys who made some art inspired by the channel. Slurp's been getting all the attention lately, so thank you for giving the others their 5 seconds of fame. You might not notice Grimace at first, but he's there. Slurp is lovingly strangling him. What's going on with these? Why are there so many butts? I don't understand. Here's me about to burn down my house again while practicing witchcraft. Please come outside your house and walk close to the big tree that looks like a giant skeleton with sirens on its head. Thank you. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And don't forget to come back next Friday. Same loony time. Same loony place.